So now we've got the top 10 weird foods. Right, this one took a little bit of research because there is a lot of disgusting stuff that humans apparently eat. Um, you know, some people like their food plain and simple. Leon's one of them. He contacted me asking if they've got McDonald's in Finland. They do uh, have McDonald's in Finland. Other people like a bit of an adventure. You know, they'll try the exotic uh, food when they go to to Thailand. They'll eat off a road cart or whatever. These are the 10 weirdest things you can eat in various places around the world. And I've put them, obviously, in order uh, and you've got to know this is a weird list because at number 10, it starts with Puffin Heart from Iceland. Now, often referred to as the clown of the ocean or the sea parrot by morons, the puffin is considered a, a quite adorable sort of a bird. And what they do in Iceland is they go and they catch it using a thing they call sky fishing, which is basically just having a big net and swinging it at the puffins, um, at these poor low-flying puffins. Uh, and then what they do is they skin them. Uh, they break the neck, skin them, and then they dig out the heart and they eat the heart raw, which is awesome. The rest of the bird gets grilled or roasted or cooked like normal, and apparently it tastes like a blend between uh, kind of chicken and duck. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's the it's the heart that is the disgusting part that wins them number ten on this list. At number nine is drunken prawns in China. Now this sounds pretty normal, right? This sounds like a thing that we would eat. Uh, normally here in day-to-day -day thing. Prawns are delicious, right? Uh, except in China, they are just stunned with a strong liquor and eaten alive. So that's marvelous. Uh, that's great stuff. Yeah. Um, China, the rest of the world, we've developed this thing called cooking. Cooking, where you kill the thing and then you... Uh, speaking of which, at number eight is the yin-yang fish. Uh, also known as a dead or alive fish, it's originated in Taiwan, where it's actually illegal to prepare now in Taiwan, but you can get it uh, elsewhere in China if you're sick and disgusting and weird. Uh, it's recently become very popular in China because what's happened is the chefs have figured out how to keep a fish alive while they deep fry it. So basically what happens is deep fried fish arrives on your plate still alive. Hooray, you get to eat deep fried fish living on your plate. Pretty weird, only number eight. Number seven is a thing called kasumaza from Sardinia. What it is, is it means rotten cheese. What they do is they make a kind of a cheese uh, with the cheese rind, and then they cut off the top and they allow uh, flies to lay their larvae inside the cheese, and then they leave it to age. So what happens is you come back and the flies have basically eaten out the larvae. They've kind of turned it into this, uh, eaten out the cheese. They've turned it into this kind of mushy, maggot-infested substance, uh, traditionally, you don't remove the maggots before you eat it. I guess if I was considering it, I probably would. Uh, so yeah, if you like mashed up kind of cream cheese and maggots, that's a nice dish. Thank you, Sardinia. Number six is the guinea pig, which is eaten in Peru. Apparently delicious. Apparently very, very tasty. Many of us remember our pet guinea pigs for being kind of fuzzy and sweet and lying in the sawdust and uh, doing kind of cute things while snoozing during the day. But uh, in South America, in Peru, they eat these little things. You would order them from a diner or from a takeaway. You order either the front half or the back half because they basically treat the guinea pig like we treat a chicken. Um, I'm guessing that the back half is probably the tastier half. You know, the front half got the head. Um, but nonetheless, pretty strange. Again, people say that these things taste very much like poultry. But, you know, I think that basically we say that for anything we don't know the taste of. Um, on the plus side, I suppose raising a bunch of guinea pigs is more environmentally sound than, than raising a bunch of cows. So, you know, maybe we should get onto that. Okay, at number five. Right, we're into the top half of this list. Rocky Mountain Oysters from Montana, USA. Uh, that's right. Montana is not a seaside uh, state. So oysters sounds odd. Uh, other people call them prairie oysters, calf fries, cowboy, caviar, and the one that gives it away, swinging beef. A Rocky Mountain oyster is, in fact, the deep-fried testicles of young bulls. And uh, eating them is pretty much a tradition amongst the western ranchers and the cowboys out there. Because basically they have a time of year where they geld all the, uh, all the bulls and they're left with hundreds and hundreds of cojones, which they have to try and eat. Um, and I'm pretty sure it would take balls, see what I did there, to eat one of these, but... Uh, Apparently, they're crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. That's like the last description I want to hear for a food, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you want seconds, though, fortunately, they do come in twos, so that's a good thing. Uh, and number four, sanakaji from Korea. Sanakaji, again, raw Korean dish. It consists of live octopus with sesame and sesame seed oil. Um, the reason why this ranks so much significantly lower than the, the living fish is that apparently this time the food fights back. It's been known to actually strangle people while they're eating it. So that's, uh, that's good stuff. People choke on it fairly 
fairly regularly. That's Sanakaji from Korea. At number three, which tea grubs from Australia? They don't just eat shrimp on a barbie in Australia. No, they eat a thing called a witchetty grub, which is apparently an enormous like maggot the size of your fist that is a weird yellow in color and tastes a little bit like scrambled eggs. Apparently, Aborigines there have been eating these for, uh, for a really long time. You dig them out underneath rotting trees, and then and then you just eat them raw like that. You don't cook them or anything. They're just, you know, like a big, disgusting ball of gooey disgust. I don't know. I, I don't, Australians don't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, you won't find them, obviously, in, like, Sydney gastropubs. You have to go out into the outback to go and find these things. But, you know, it sounds like it's worth it. Um... At number two is something that is particularly disgusting because, well, it's already up on number two. It's called kiviak. It's an Inuit food from Greenland. What they do is they take 300 to 500 orcs, which are a kind of bird. Puffins are actually a type of orc. They take 300 to 500 of these. Uh, they stuff them into the hollowed out body cavity of a seal. They press, <laughs> they press out as much air as possible. Then they cover the seal with a big rock pile. They leave the seal kind of sitting there. I suppose fermenting, rotting for three to 18 months. Then they go back, they uncover the rock pile and then they dig in. So that's pretty disgusting. Um, that's thank you very much. Inuit people for showing us the meaning of the word desperation when it comes to food. There's still something worse than that. Um, this, this is the most disturbing thing. It's uh, called balut. It's from the Philippines. It's basically a delicacy of fertilized egg. Um, don't look this thing up on the internet if you like to keep your food down because it's kind of half bird, half egg. In the Philippines, they like to let them like gestate for 17 days before they eat them. In China, they like to go as far as 19, 20 days. So you get kind of some real meaty birdiness in there. Um, yeah, it says uh, it tastes a bit like scrambled egg mixed with tender chunks of poultry uh, and just some slightly gamey liver. So, you know, I mean, if, if you can actually stomach a bird, bones and all, um, then cool. Good for you. That's amazing. I don't think I'm eating one of those things. Right. So top 10 weird foods at number 10. Puff and heart from Iceland. Number nine, drunken living prawns from China. Number eight, the yin-yang fish, living deep fried fish. Number seven, kasumazu from Sardinia, the rotten cheese full of maggots. Number six, guinea pig from Peru. Number five, Rocky Mountain oysters beef cojones from Montana in the United States. Number four, sanakaji from Korea, living living octopuses number three witchetty grabs from australia and a number two kiviak which is that uh well stuffed seal stuffed with a bird you know basically just disgusting and at number one for our weirdest food eaten around the world is balut from the philippines you guys have been fantastic (laughs) 